This presentation gives an overview of the Energy Plus location and climate objects. First is the site location object, which specifies the latitude, longitude, and other characteristics of the location. The elevation is used for calculating the standard density of air for converting air volume flow rate inputs to mass flow. So this impacts high altitude HVAC design calculations. Next are sizing period design day objects. These are single day 24 hour simulations which are made with synthetic weather, useful for equipment sizing and also just for short simulations for model development and troubleshooting. The user specifies a name and maximum dry bulb temperature, daily range and other parameters about the day, the time of year. And then Energy Plus generates a day with a sinusoidal temperature pattern and standard solar calculations. One field of special interest is the sky clearness. Note that on the summer day, this is set to 1. That's the typical value for low altitude locations. Higher altitudes may have a value of 1.1. For winter days, the standard design days generally use a clearness of 0, which means no solar gains. So if you're doing passive solar or want to have solar gains included in a heating sizing calculation, you need to change this to 1. The design days in this input file are ASHRAE standard design days for 99.6% heating day and the 0.4% cooling dry bulb day. When Energy Plus weather files are downloaded from the energyplus.gov website, if you download the zip file, they will include what is called a DDY input file as part of the zip. These can be opened from within IDF editor. In this case, the Chicago DDY file is located in the Energy Plus weather data folder or wherever it's been saved to on your system. Open this file and view the contents. There is the standard location and all of the standard ASHRAE design day objects. So you can choose which percentage design days you want. They are all predefined ready to use. There is also a daylight saving time object for that location. To use one of the objects from a DDY file, simply select the desired object, copy object, switch to your project input file, and paste object. Sizing period weather file days, weather file condition type, are other types of sizing periods that can be taken from the weather file. Run period specifies a period of days to run from a weather file. This can be a full year or there can be multiple run periods taking just partial segments of the year. Run period control special days is used to specify the dates for holidays and other special day types. The Energy Plus schedule system has various types of day types that can be specified and then this causes the simulation to switch to alternate schedule profiles when that date arrives during the simulation. Run period control daylight saving time it specifies the range of dates during which daylight savings time is active. Note that hourly output is always reported in standard time. The times of schedules will simply shift relative to standard time. Weather property sky temperature, site weather station, site height variation are uh, advanced use objects. Uh, weather station is necessary if you're using custom measured weather data. Height variation alters the default variation of wind speed and temperature versus height off the ground. Site ground temperature building surface. This is an important object to understand. Any building surface which has an outside boundary of ground will use this temperature as its outside boundary condition. It is very important that ground surface heat transfer be done correctly. You can read about it in the auxiliary programs document, also in the input output reference under surface ground heat transfer. These temperatures here are produced from the slab or basement preprocessor programs which do a multi-dimensional pre-simulation of ground heat transfer. There is also the option of using the ASHRAE FC factor method for ground heat transfer or the ground heat transfer objects elsewhere in the input file. Site Ground temperature shallow and deep are for ground heat exchanger models. Ground reflectance and snow modifier impact reflected solar for daylighting and solar heat gain calculations. 
Site water mains temperature is used for domestic or service hot water heating. Site precipitation is used for water reclamation, also for the green roof material vegetation object. Roof irrigation also is used for the green roof simulation.